everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio, and I'm here because we're going to play. I'm putting my gloves on because I'm being safe. <laughs> because we are going to have a play with some UV resin. I was watching a video last night before I went to bed by um, Gina Aaron's and she made Art Brittle. Is that what she called it? Art Brittle. So she used regular resin that you need to let cure overnight or like 24 hours. Well, this girl is impatient. So I'm breaking out the UV resin. Let's give this a play, shall we? All right, so the first thing we need to do, I do not have any release spray. So remember, Google is your best friend besides YouTube. <laughs> and it said to use petroleum jelly. But you could use that or Pam cooking spray. And I don't have any Pam cooking spray, but I do have this petroleum jelly because, well, it acts as a great resist with um, when you're doing watercolor, actually when you're doing any kind of um, art, it's a great resist. All right, I think that should do it. This is probably going to show the marks anyway. I'm going to wash my fingers off. Even though I have gloves on. Doesn't matter. All right. Goes over to the side. Now let's see. I do not want it to go much past this area because it won't fit all the way into my UV lamp that I have here that I'm going to use. Now I will make sure to let you know that everything that I use will be um, will be linked in the description below and in my um, at my YouTube and my YouTube good grief and in my um, in my Amazon store. <laughs> okay, I am going to try and recreate this exactly as Gina did, but then I might take it a step farther and try and do it in a, um, you know, one of these things. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to Yep, I'm going to take this and I'm going to pour it on my tray. And I'm just now thinking about it. One of the things I forgot to grab is, I hope nothing comes crashing down on us. Oh, my lighter thing. Because I want to get all the air bubbles out of it. Get out of there. One more time. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. So now what we're going to do is I want to try and work fast. I'm using the Nouveau Gilding Flakes in copper. Oh boy. Silver. And gold. 
What we're going to do is we're going to build layers with our resin. All right, so the first thing she said she did was she wanted to make sure she got all of the gilding flakes covered in the resin. And I would like to tell you, number one, please make sure that you are wearing the appropriate um, wear gloves. Um, this does have um, an odor to it. So if you're sensitive, sensitive to that kind of thing, make sure you wear, um, you know, a mask of some sort. You know, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me. So I'm, um, I'm okay with it. I'm just going to kind of spread this out here. So it's not quite as thick. I'm trying to make it so it's as thin as possible. Gonna try, gonna try. I love having myself in art play. Now, I've got it all covered in resin. I'm just going to pour some more resin over the top of it. Okay, and this is a self-leveling resin. Okay, so there we go. This is step one. I'm going to turn my lamp on. Yes, I'm going to turn my lamp on. And then I'll stick it in there. Okay, this is done in the oven. And the release using the, um, what did I use? The uh, petroleum jelly worked for the most part. I did need to use my Cricut scraper to get it up off the, um, up off of this, but it is a little bit bendable. 
but we're going to put a new, some more stuff on here. All right, now I'm going to take and see this um, lid, this lid, this piece of plastic that we're using is a lid off a stamp set because I don't have a mold that's flat. I think I may have to invest in one. All right, now, and it, as you can see, I set my timer on my phone. That was in the oven, the, um, the, UV, the UV lamp. It was in there for five minutes and 26 seconds. That's all it took to cure that. Okay. So now I've got some resin here in the cup. And I'm going to add, she added glitter. Oh, if I can get this open. The gloves on, it's hard. Ah, did it. This is um, blue glitter sprinkles. So it's just another layer of texture. And I'm going to mix them up in here. And I'm just using the popsicle stick to bring it to the edge. And I'm going to pour it on. I'm going to try and center it in the middle, and then I'm going to spread it out with the popsicle stick. Very cool. That's going to be very, very cool. And this piece that broke here, let's see if we can fix it. See if the resin will. I don't think it's going to fix it, but that's all right. It'll just be a pieces part. Because actually, that's the whole purpose of this is it's going to get cut up and used um, on art pieces. Okay. Put this down. And then I'm going to add more and you know I can't tell you exactly how much I'm using I'm just kind of squirting it in the this is like a jello shot um, cup and this is Perlex and it's silver Little dab will do ya. Okay. And let's give that a ooh. Very cool. I think I want to add just a little bit more of this. We got a real good mix.
this is going to be so cool when it's done. Oh my gosh. And see, when you use it this way, you don't have to wait that 24 hours. As long as it's going up the side, that's all right. Okay, now I am going to put this back in the cooker. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, it was five minutes and 30 seconds and I broke it, I'm trying to pull it up. But that's okay because that way you can actually see the middle of it. Oops, this way. camera needs to focus better, but this is so cool. Yep. I'm going to break this up and use it on ATCs and yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, Gina, you created a, a monster. Oh, awesome. Look at these. Look at these pieces. Not one piece is the same. I'm sorry if you hear any rumbling. It's decided to have a little bit of a summer storm out there. Those are cool. Very, very cool. Oh, there's the bottom. Try and get this so you can see it. There's the top. How shiny that is. There's the middle. Oh, this would be so awesome. All right, I want to try in this. Let me see here. Let's give it a go, shall we? Sure. Now I'm going to keep it in this. This is, I don't know where I got this. Somebody gave this to me. All right. I have, this is gilding flakes from that I've used here that is just um, in a bag. Like remnants left over. All right, so let's put those in there. Oh, they're all over my fingers now. Let's try the same thing. Only these are going to stay in here. They're not going to come out. See if I can scoop up any more flakes that were in there. Push it down off the side. Kind of smush it so it's all over. Ooh, that was a good clap of thunder. Storms are rolling in early today. And we're supposed to be here till six. Right. And then let's take 
what little bit is left in here. A little bit of silver and just a little bit of the blue sprinkles, blue glitter. Get every last drop out of there. And we'll spread that around. I think I want a new popsicle stick because I want to kind of clean these edges off a little bit before I stick it in the oven. A particular wipe to it. Let's see, shall we? There we go. All right, I'm going to pop this in the oven. Let's see what it takes, how long it takes. I'll be back. Okay, I just took this out. It was six minutes and about 50 seconds, whatever. But you hear that? Hard as a rock. Focus. I hate that my camera does not focus right, but that is cool. See how shiny that is. But that would be awesome on the end of a paper clip or tucked in underneath a flower on a mixed media piece. I love it. Put these pieces up here for you. I'm going to bring you in as close as I can. Hopefully this camera will focus. All right, that is as close as I can get you. Bring you out just a little bit. Look at all these pieces. So yeah, these are pieces that I scraped off the side. How cool is that? Art griddle. And then this, of course, in the bottle cap. So I think I'm going to um, post this in my muse for my creative year because I would like to share this with as many people as I can because this is fabulous. This is just fabulous. So yeah, that'll be on my, I'll put this in my muse. But look at how cool that is. I love it. So anyway, quick, easy, fun. I'll link all the thing, all the everything that I used in the description below. I will also link to uh, Gina's video um, where you can watch what she did and all that fun stuff. So that that is it for me. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And it is the 4th of July weekend here, so happy 4th of July to people in the United States. And happy birthday, America. And that does it. So, as always, have a good weekend. And 
be nice. It's not that difficult. Bye, y'all.